Get out of here with that personal space. Get up on out of my personal space. Hi, Sketchy. I did not do that cover of Baka Mitai, but I still plan to. I'm still gonna do it. Mark my words. I'm gonna do it. Hi, Liz. Hi, Violet. Hi, everybody. How's everybody? How, uh, how are you? You know who I'm talking to. I'm talking to you. <laughs> oh, I'm... I've been watching way too much Game Grumps, let's be honest right now. I mean... I've been watching a lot of Game Grumps lately, and that's basically all I've been talking about. There was... Like the past two days straight. A point in my life, like, I have consumed about two years straight of Game Grumps content without missing an episode. Now they just, they, 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 they just kick out way too much stuff that's impossible. Mm -hmm. But up to a point, man. I've that been, was all I fucking watched. I've been binge listening. I can't say watching. I'm not actually watching. I've been binge listening to Game Grumps at work. It's good, like, background, like, stuff to put on while you're sewing and whatever. Oh, yeah, absolutely. I like, uh, that they have a podcast now, especially. Oh, fuck yeah. Oh, God, that reminds me. I need to download, uh, the one on horror movies. I uh, listened to it today. It was good. I haven't listened to it yet. Susie has your exact taste in horror. Which is pretty all much. of it. <laughs> yes. Well, but I mean, like, they make, they hit on a lot of points on, uh, like, the modern horror film and like uh what's going on with it right now oh and why it sucks yeah oh, oh. fuck i want that but people are chasing me is it just Susie or is aaron in it too uh i think it's Susie barry barry's in every episode i think right uh i don't know uh I think most it, of them i was about to say i think it's his show i don't know if they've ever officially said that but i think it is his show i think they just do it like they get everybody into an, uh, an, a room in their office and they pick something to talk about and they just go. Barry just seems like the Damn host. it! Oh, wait. Is this another Majima thing? Yep. Your face pisses me off. Your bandana pisses me off. That drunk guy's trying to walk into a wall. You can't walk into walls, drunk guy. Aw, he's trying to get some out of the out of the vending machine there, but he doesn't know how to... Aw. Somebody help that poor guy. I think you're giving him too much credit. He's not trying to get anything out of that vending machine. He just thinks he can face through walls. Well, I have to say, the thought has crossed my mind. Well, I was drunk before. I knew it! I knew you were behind this shit! Come on, Majima! I don't know why he has to go on oh, oh. with this, like, awkward fucking third party floor play. He's, he, it's something that, it just does it for him. He's just, he's, he's so, he's too jealous. He can't handle a third party. But then he just wants you to pay attention to him. And it's like, no, you can't, you can't do that. There's a third party in Also, that one guy's legs are definitely broken. Probably. Like, shattered. Damn it! Majima! That is, that sounds a lot like something I would say. Oh my god, the hat man. I forgot that we played that. It's, looking back on it, not a good game, no. but you were hilarious. <laughs> it's, I, like, I, you made me love that game. Oh, shit. Um... Damn it, that's not I enough. I don't even remember saying that. I mean, I don't doubt that that is something that I said, but I I don't remember the context. Who was I gonna fuck? <laughs> Things that and why keep sit she, up at night. <laughs> why was she not a Pokemon? <laughs> ah, Ma Majima, please! You bitch! I'd fuck a lot of bitches. Yes, you would. <laughs> that, that's precisely why. <laughs> uh, 
Also, it implies that you're more into fucking Pokemon. I, I like, guess. That's like a pre that's normally a requirement for you, and but that she's like the exception. exception? I guess. <laughs> I don't. I didn't know I'd fuck all the Pokemans. You gotta fuck them all, Sid. I thought I'd just fuck Ninetales. <laughs> Well, <laughs> this has been uh, Yakuza Kiwami, and you guys have a great night. <laughs> um, I didn't know I would fuck all of the Pokemon. Where are we going? That's oh, a little shit. weird. I feel a little uncomfortable about that about myself. <laughs> that you would fuck Pokemon? I'm that I would fuck multiple types of Pokemon. Uh, there are of tons them... of people out there who would fuck many types of Pokemon. Because there's and some there ain't of them nothing wrong with that. that I'm just... There's nothing wrong with it, but there's some of them I'm just like, it just seems wrong. It seems kind of... Are you telling me right now that you would not fuck Trubbish? No, I would. It's the ones like Jigglypuff or Pikachu. It kind of seems like pedophilia and it seems wrong. All right, with that attitude, I guess. <laughs> when you put it like that, anything sounds bad, Sid. <laughs> Like, I don't want to fuck something so them. childlike. I just really don't. <laughs> I don't mind fucking a garbage can Pokemon. That would be great. <laughs> Hello. Uh, oh, it's over here, right? Good, good job. Good job. That dude has no nose. Whoa. You, uh, you okay? All right. He can't sneeze. No, he's not okay. I mean, he's like Krillin from Dragon Ball. They like make a point multiple times to tell you that he doesn't have a nose. Because apparently it's important. Hey, I know this place. Yeah, I remember this place too. This is where that in-, in Whiskey and water. water. Yeah, except here we're somebody, I think this is, we're supposed to find some dude that was dating Date's daughter. Oh shit. Um, yeah, I'm friend. Yeah, we're 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 friends. You know what I'm saying? Oh wait. Oh shit. Um, uh, I don't know. Yeah, I'm friend. Yeah, we're friends. Yeah, we're friends. Yeah, we're Okay, well, I know that the older ones are more expensive. Not all the time. Oh, shit. Uh... Um, I wouldn't think a malt would be. No. It's definitely not premium malt. I'm thinking between this one and this one. But I don't know. Hibiki makes me mad. <laughs> We've got history. Shit. Um... Because if it's like a... I don't know what this is. I would think that something imported would be more expensive. So something yes. that doesn't look Japanese. I... So either the that or the one under it, I would think, would be... Who? Uh... But that's my guess. That would be my guess. Dan Hibiki. <laughs> God damn it. Alright, I'm gonna go with this one. God damn it! Let me look at your drink menu. Oh wait, it's, it's in Japanese and also like, it's probably not your actual drink menu. There's no way of me to know. Yeah, I'm his friend. I'm friendly. We friends. Let's do this one. Damn! Nope. I was completely wrong. Fuck. Well, how am I supposed to fucking know? Just keep guessing. <laughs> I'm, I guess so. This feels cheap as balls, though. Um, eh. I'm gonna go with the, the cheap super... according to who? The eldest? Yes. Eldest first. Oh, I guess oh. I got it right. Oh, he likes me. Okay, well, I guess I got it right. Um, what was the name of the place?
Exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I just realized how dumb my laugh sounds. What the fuck? Why is Majima here? Because he loves you. And he wants to touch your butt. No, I want to get out of here. No, wait. Shh, stop it. No. No, I'm not interested. No. No! <laughs> no! Oh my god, oh my god, he's fucking trucking, dude! Oh! He wants your dick! <laughs> Slow your roll. Slow your roll, bro. Yeah, he turned around, now he's mad. Now you made him mad. No, 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 everybody's chasing me. Fuck! We'll let you get away. Oh, ugh, Kitty is getting tired. Well, he's an old man now. That's true. I can only run for so long. Now I don't even know where I am anymore. Uh, I need to go all the way down here. I'll just take a fucking cab. I say about him as he's still younger than Dan. <laughs> Excuse me. Coming through. Nothing to see here. Hmm. Please, I'm begging you. Touch the butt. You heard him. Touch the butt. Oh, I can visit Bob while I'm down there, actually. Bob! He's gonna give me something good. I think Never I have enough of that thing. for you today. Because <laughs> last time... Hold on. Last time... On uh, Dragon Ball Z. Dragon Ball Z. Uh, 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 I almost got something that was good. I was like one point shy and they were like, oh man. They're, dragon shirt. That's the one. They were like, you gotta get it. And I was like, oh man. Ooh, gotta go fast. Thank you very much. Wait, see if he's got any free shit. He probably doesn't. Oh, you got any free shit, Bob? You want the goods from Kiwami Bob Utsunomiya? Well, guess what I have for you. <gasps> You've got things. Oh, shit. Oh, I have, like, no space in my inventory, though. Um. Cool. Oh, I got a dragon tattoo. Oh man, this might be too much stuff. Don't sweat the details. This stuff's yours to keep. Remember, you can only change outfits in Premium Adventure. You're only getting this one, so take good care of it. Thanks. Yeah, I'm not. I never did the Premium Adventure, and I still. I'm not totally clear on what it is. I think it's once you beat the storyline once. And then, like, post-game, mm -hmm. I guess, where you, like, roam around or whatever? Or, like, during a second playthrough or whatever. Uh, I don't know. I don't fucking know. I wonder if people will stop telling you you look gross if you put the shirt on. Maybe? So it's all post-game stuff, or... Oh, yeah, Violet, I did. I'm glad that it, they said it wasn't anything permanent. Um, increases elemental resistance and gained experience. It's set, its stats are simply astounding. Cool. Um, yes. And also thanks for the gun. I'll take that gun. Why don't we have more salt to bludgeon people with? I know, right? Actually, the... As much as I hate it, the Goemon blade has the most attack. I'm pleased with this result. Oh, look at that kawaii-ass looking cafe. You're a kawaii-ass looking... Something or other. Hello? Uh, Is your hair okay? It's looking really, like... Damaged. Really polygonal. 
You here alone today, Kiryu-san? Yeah, I think a girl I know is inside. Hey. I see. Let me clear a table for you. No, it's okay. I can seat myself, but thanks anyway. Oh shit, I see things for the host, what's up? Um, is Kazuki here? Oh, oh hi Kiryu-san, long, long time no see. Kiryu-san. Kazuki-san is away at the moment, he should be back in an hour or so. My mouth doesn't want to Wait. It's Kazuki. Now we have two quests kind of going on around this area. I think, don't you remember at the beginning of the game, I think this is where you went to have that, like, meet up with the dude that you... Oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah. Um, I remember now. The dude that you borrowed money from. <laughs> uh? And then you went to jail without paying him back. But I somehow, didn't I still have the money somehow? Even after I got out of jail? I mean, it wouldn't let me pay him back, but like, I think we looked. Yeah, we still had it. I'm just trying to keep out the trash. Trash. Ooh. Go swig some drinks by these ladies. Swing. Don't swig them. Don't swig, well, you can swig them, but like. You can't give them to the ladies if you're swigging them. Right. No idea, I'm really sorry. Chores do suck, but they do, they must be done, it's true. That's my life. Yeah. Don't worry about it. I feel like my life is nothing but work at home and work at work. Like yep. Home and work at work. Yep. And then stream. And stream. Streaming is the reprieve. Yeah. It's nice to be here and play games. I'm happy. Hello. Yeah. That's right, I remember you now. Because I like your uh, I like your crown necklace. It's a bit extra, but I like it. He would name himself fucking Shota. But I mean, like, isn't his actual name have Shota in it or something like that? Or show, show something, Shoji? Something. And I was like, oh, you clever. ショータ。大丈夫。さや。ああ、ティーネージャーガールズ、アマイ。くそ。おお、オッケー、サイシー。ウェアサークル。何よ、あんたたち。さや。He he probably knows. Where is Kiryu-san? Where is Kiryu-san? Like, how are you gonna say that in front of somebody's dad and expect to not get punched in the face, really? Well, I mean, I guess technically they don't know that that's her father. They keep calling Kiryu old, and it's making me sad because he's in his 30s. <laughs> also, yeah, Date is way older than we are. All right, here we go. Okay, no, wait, you gotta go first, sir. Hang on. I got my own bleed. Oh, shit. Yeah, he's not coming back from that. 
Well, he will, but... Fuck, I wanna get you, damn it. I can't fucking lock on to people. There we go. There we go. No more stabbing, okay? Thank you. No more stabbing. No more stabby stab. I wanted to grab the bike, but okay. Stabby stab bad. Oh, jeez, I'm sure. Just in before Majima. He'll be here. Beep, beep, excuse me. Jesus, he's just bleeding everywhere, my bad. Hit someone. <laughs> Sounds accurate. Yeah, I just want to, like, pick somebody up and hit somebody else with them. I want to stab some guy with a different guy. Does the fucking welcome mat at the Serena's say you're shy? Uh, good question. I'm, I'll go look at it. Oh, shit. It might have been more intimidating for him to say, I'm the police. That's <laughs> God damn it. He's probably just going to pay it. <sighs> Honestly. If he has the money, ah. Hello? <laughs> oh shit. Now, do you work at this club too? No, I'm. <laughs> oh, you must be a host. Hey, hey, what's your name? Hmm? See, she doesn't think I'm old. You've got the wrong idea. I have to go. I have a doctor's appointment at the dentist. <laughs> oh, shit. You suppose Shotokun will be alright? Who gives a fuck? Yeah, I don't really care. You're worried about him? Wait, I believe Shotokun has, is being threatened. Uh, I don't mm. care, though. He's being... harassed by debt collectors. That sucks. Guess he shouldn't have took money from someone who was his customer, huh? Yeah. Sure does suck. Mm -hmm. Alright, I will. Oh yeah, I was gonna go to um, the Pocket Circuit Stadium. Speaking of people that work here. すぐ返さないとまずいから。どうにかして金作れって。いつからそんなことを。本当は初めてだったの。でも来週までにお金を用意できなかったら、翔太殺されるかもって言うから。てめえの命を惜しくて自分の女に何とかしろってのか。本当
But it doesn't seem like this is the first time. Because when she called, she was like, this again. <laughs> True. So, like, it's not like this is the only time he's done this to her. So, I'm not on your side, Saya. Because you being a little brat to your dad. But your dad was being a little bit of a bitch to you. <laughs> not that I don't want to fight him or anything. Just... He's getting a little greedy. Ooh. Thanks for these lacquers. Hey, yo, Saya, you don't mind if we stop by the Pocket Circuit Stadium, right? I'm sure your dad will be okay for a minute. I just... I got some unfinished business I gotta take care of. ガッコ持つまんないし家でも喧嘩ばかりだしそんな時翔太にやってシャッキンをするためにもう子供が成長して大人の世界に首突っ込んだ結果がこれだよ何だ今死人前に扱われたかったら自分で自分の責任を取れ
Yeah, I mean. へえ、ヨンコ。丸坊じゃねえか。マジか。やべえじゃねえかよ。まあ、待てよ。お父さんさ、丸坊だったら押収した拳銃とか山ほどあんだろ。何？そいつを回してくれたらさやの借金チャラ
守ってやる守ってやるから分かった分かったから泣かないでよ I don't know why I just thought of the fucking the doo doo butt song from Rick and Morty. They're like every father father's bad. But also, I got a doo doo in my butt. <laughs> So you don't slap your child in the face. Eh, yeah. <laughs> it's pretty it's pretty not cool. Yeah. What's up? Ah, a little bit of a story. I think I mostly interpreted it as a slap in the sense into somebody, but also he like a cop and you're like a high school girl. And also she's your daughter. <laughs> ええ、まあ担当直入に言おう今君が調べていることからすぐに手を引くんだどの件でしょう交渉の余地はないんだよ伊達くん今すぐ手を引きなさい話は短いおい伊達くん I think he understood what he was implying. Imanogatekejikane. Hmm. They talking about Kitty. But 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 We I, technically do have a little girl hostage. I didn't kidnap anybody. I saved her ass. We did, but we should have taken her back home. She she doesn't she her home is an orphanage. It's still her home. Yeah, but I don't know. I'm trying to help her find her mom so she can go home. Her Maybe. mom put her into orphanage. <laughs> oh shit! Flashback. It's it's bitch Nishiki and Kingpin. Did I tell you from watching Cry's playthrough? Watching Cry's playthrough? Uh, I see more subtle hints that he's a bitch. Yeah. I, I just had no idea. It's interesting. Because Zero is so new. And it's a I mean, I'm not saying Nishiki like the worst person ever. He probably even still isn't the worst person ever. But he a bitch. Kore dake wa oboitoke. Kazama wa na Kiryu ni kumi o motasetai dake ya. Oh fuck you, Kingpin. キリュウのやったことは絶対許されん。せやけどな。皮肉なもんやが、キリュウの評判はすこぶれで。まあ、大物やったちゅうのは、それなりの貫禄がつくもんや。シャバに出た時は、もうお前には手の届かんところにおる
まあでもそん時はキリュウもやりづらいやろうからのお前の扱いには困るはずや Excuse me, rude? 人も殺せんガキが無理しても先はあらへん肩気にでもなれや I appreciate all these motherfuckers speaking for me while I'm in the clink, okay? Because Kiryu would never think any of those things. No, he wouldn't. And I, like, in the beginning, I'm like, Nishiki should have known that because we was boys. But with 10 years of people telling you the same shit, it starts to get under your skin. Well, yeah. Nisuki is a bitch, but he might not have wound up the way that he is. He might not have been a backstabbing bitch. I don't know. I'm wondering what would have happened if Nishiki had nice unrendered wall there in the background. Uh, I wonder what would have happened if uh, Nishiki had actually owned up and he was the one that spent the ten years in jail instead. どうした who talking about? Can you tell I'm pissy tonight? <laughs> Just a little bit. I love you. I love you. I'm just bitch about everybody. Everyone is horrible. <laughs> It's not really a photo of her. It's a photo of her boobs. Well, we're not even sure that it's her. Um, Jeremy said I had a message. Oh, it's Rena. Fuck you, Rena. Mm, she said there's something she wants to talk about. I don't give oh, lots of things. Fuck. Yeah, not now, girl. I mean, we were messing with you, but you always better anyway. Yeah. Well, at least at this point, she might end up being just as bad. Fine, oh, and just like that, I get a message from her, too. Well, she, we can check out, but we also have shit to do. Oh, wait, I was supposed to give that guy booze. Uh, I don't have any right now, but hold on a second. I could get some. There's a company right, right here. You still drunk, motherfucker? I mean, he probably doesn't have anywhere else to be. Yes, uh, yes, buy the pocket uh, tissues. <laughs> here, to... Now that they're not handing them out everywhere. To soak up your tears <laughs> from your shitty life. Um, boss's coffee. You don't sell beer? What the fuck? Oh, wait, there you go. If I'd be like, what kind of fucking konbini is this? They sold sweet potato soap cheese. You didn't want to buy soap chew. Oh, we already looked at all the manga and shit. <laughs> On the Millennium Tower? Oh shit. That would be amazing. Hey! The audio cues? If you do, I want it. <laughs> you give me booze, I'll give you a good surprise. Yeah, sure, what up? I have like, uh, you know, questionable morals. I'm a crime guy. Have a beer. Daniel! Daniel! You haven't missed that many crimes. What have, what have our crimes been? Uh, we, we, we saved uh, an underage girl from hooking herself. Wait, that's not a crime. That's actually a good thing. Uh...
How come Mitch blood fest is open? How's blood flow? Okay. That's debatable. Well, did you know people who drink tend to live longer? Mmm, really? Depends uh, on how much. Gotta keep drinking for your health. I feel real bad for your liver right now. I'm sure drinking too much has the opposite effect. Save an underage girl from hooker and <laughs> solid criming. <laughs> well, we just uh, we just gave an alcoholic. Uh, we indulged his habit, so there you go. Uh, what do you got? Here's something good. Ten yen, reeking of alcohol. Good. Thanks. Yeah. What is this? <laughs> Ten yen. You know this beer costs 250 yen, right? Huh? So I got. <laughs> Are you kidding me? <laughs> Go spend it all in one place. Ten yen ain't too shabby. It's proper money, you know? Okay, so I'm gonna be needing more booze from you soon, mister. <sighs> no, I think not, sir. Wow, get fucked. It reminds me of in the Zelda randomizer when you pay King Zora 500 rupees and you get one rupee. <laughs> Good times. That, that happens to me a lot, if you can't tell. No, I don't want to fight you right now. Daniel! Shit! <gasps> Uh-oh. Where is he? Where is- Oh, fuck! Oh, hey. That wasn't a very clever hiding place. That was just being around. He, was, he like saw me coming and he was like, Oh shit, I gotta find somewhere to hide, but there's nowhere. I'll just crouch down and pretend to be sneaky. Oh yeah, no, we have the volume it turned down way too low to hear this. Uh, like, we can kind of hear the voice acting and the music and stuff, but like, when it comes to subtle audio cues and open. Daniel, I wanted to let you know that I'm super bitchy tonight, and it's, it, I, I think it's hilarious. Oh shit, and you everyone guys should, else should smack talk each other, it's one of my favorite pastimes. Everyone else should think it's hilarious too, but I'm super bitchy tonight, and I love you. That's not a bitchy thing to say at all. I would never be bitchy to somebody that I love. Yo, get fucked, Daniel. <laughs> Can't wait to see your stupid ass this weekend. <laughs> I would never be bitchy to somebody that I love. I'm just bitchy in general. <laughs> Fuck everybody else, though. Fuck all these people I don't know. If I know you, you okay. You hear that, lurkers? Sid hates you. Get no, I know the lurkers. Do you, though? I do, because I see their names. Do you? <laughs> that shit ain't up to date. You don't know that. What if, so? they, what if they ain't even logged in? It's okay, lurkers. I love you. I don't know you, but I, I'm, I am A-OK -okay with you. But you're going to say, fuck Daniel. But yeah, no, fuck Daniel. But also... I cannot wait to see Daniel this weekend. Eat some fucking shit, you stupid bitch. Yeah, just kidding. <laughs> yeah, well... Kimmy, use a cunt. How do you like that? Wow! <laughs> yeah, I mean, I can't argue because it's true. <laughs> I should have named you Good. California Aww. cunt. <laughs> California cunt. Can I call you that when we move to California? Yes, please. <laughs> oh, God, it's true, because we plan on moving west. So when we do, I will actually be California cunt. I will call you Kimmy California cunt. <laughs> oh, I'm so excited. That's my new name. <laughs> no, you cock tease. Level me up. Damn it. Ah. Oh. Are we gonna play more California Cunt? Not nah, tonight. I got too into Outlast. I'm sorry. Especially since we spent forever getting around that cornfield and now we finally out of that cornfield. Where are we going? Hello? 
Oh, wait, okay. The tattoo parlor, which is over here. New Majima side quest incoming. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, no, yeah. I just mean to... Oh, yeah, yeah. No, I'm definitely going to yes. finish. Fin, 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 fin. Sid does not stop playing a spoop. We're going to play spoops all forever. Except for uh, Resident Evil. I kind of gave up on Resident Evil. It's okay, though. I don't I blame you. I didn't. I, I'm going to be honest, guys. Yeah, be real. Wasn't really into it. And then I watched a playthrough of the game to make sure that I wouldn't be into it. And the designs are really cool. I thought you were into it, but like real talk, people were coming in and backseating you like obnoxiously and it was stupid and I made me mad. I, I, it looked cool, but I hated the gameplay. I hated oh, I'm the looking gameplay. for the pawn shop. That's what I was trying to do, but I'm a street off. Because I need to sell, I need to clear some inventory space, which means I need to go to the pawn shop. So I'm going to do a little loop-de-loo. Excuse me, excuse me, sorry. The biggest con right now is that you're not looking at se dating somebody right now. I'm going to! Oh, shit. Whoa, whoops. Did I break something? Hello? Excuse me, Gomen Nasari. My glasses! Oh, shit. I can't see anything without my glasses. Well, that sucks for you. This alley isn't very nice to look at anyway. You aren't missing anything. Oh shit. I, what? How Con would contact lenses make a huge, like a super loud cracking noise They though? used to be made out of glass. Oh, I didn't know that. Yeah. Contact lenses used to be made out of glass. Wow, I learned something today. Mm -hmm. But like, how? this is 2015 though. This isn't 2015. I thought this game took place in 2015. I thought it took place in 2007 or 2005. 2005. Five, not 15. I'm stupid. Hello. <laughs> was that the no was that the noise I just heard under my foot? Whoops. My aunt actually uh, used to wear contact lenses, and she um back when they were glass, and it broke in her eye. Wow! Mm -hmm. And that's Shit, how I know that dude. contact lenses used to be made of glass. <laughs> because she went to the doctor to get the glass taken out of her eye, and they were like, okay, we got it all, and then a week later she blinked and more glass fell out of her eye. Shit, dude, that's... <laughs> that sucks. Uh, I'm, I'm really sorry about that, and also for your, for your aunt. <laughs> Ow. You think an apology is just gonna magically make it better? Those were custom made from Germany. Oh, these were fucking fancy pantsy. Oh, are you serious? Pretty ones, huh? How am I supposed to see now? I think you need to cough up 200,000 yen to buy me my replacements. I mean, to be fair, yeah, probably. But what were your contact lenses doing on the ground, though? That's true, too. It's kind of both of your faults. I feel bad for breaking his contacts, but that price is absurd, even for a special order. But also, you know, like, pain and suffering or something. Also, it's gonna take him a while to ship it, so, like, he'll not be able to see for a while. Or, I don't know if he's got glass. What? You shouldn't have left it on the floor, man! I mean, they could have just fell out of his eye. Contact lenses do that. I guess so. I don't know, man. I've got... Well, I don't have 20-20 vision anymore, but I have good vision. I don't know. You do what you want, though. This is... This one's up to you. I don't I don't have any... I don't even know if this is a fair price. Because, like, I don't know how much people pay for that shit. I have never had to worry about my eyes. Uh, I know that... Uh, I ain't paying him, no. Fuck that. I was about to say, I know that two grand wouldn't be expensive for a pair... Oh, wait, no, it would be. Never mind. This is a scam with no titty. I was gonna say a pair of glasses, but I was like, no, actually, glasses are around like two, three hundred dollars. Never mind. Damn, still though. In this day and age, that's still a lot. That's the name of the side quest? That's amazing. Oh. <laughs> you don't get scammed unless t Yeah, sorry, you don't got no titty, so uh -huh. I ain't giving you that much. Oh, you'll ma- Oh, this is cute. This is real cute with your underbite ass. Oh, I'm sorry. 
And your eyebrows tweeze too thin. Yeah, what's up with that? What do you do that to your brows for? Learn to love yourself. Also, if you're gonna fight me, how are you gonna fight me if you can't see me? <laughs> I'm just saying. You've proven my point, Mr. Yamazaki. Yeah, he's sharp-eyed man. That, I, I caught that as soon as it went, as soon as I said I wasn't gonna pay, and then I was like, well. Boy. You seem to be seeing just fine. Well, I don't know, actually. I, It was really one-sided. I, I kind of whooped your ass. You didn't even really get a good lick in. Bye. Bye. <laughs> oh, wait, hold up. Um. Hmm? Nani. What's the matter? Yeah. Well, it's just... Did some punk just accuse you of stepping on his contact lenses? Hmm? Yeah, actually. I knew it. I think that guy's scamming people, mister. You think? I gave him everything I had on me, too. That's because you a bitch. <sighs> God, I'm such an idiot. Yup. <laughs> Sorry. That bastard! What? Hey! Yes? When you got scammed, was it around here? Yeah. Yes. Not far, actually. This must be his hunting ground, then. I'll check back later so I can put an end to this. <laughs> it sucks to suck, timid man. I like timid men. Don't come for timid man. I'll come for you. All right. <laughs> I'm just saying, I, one of us didn't pay the guy money. And one of us did. Anyway, I'm gonna sell all of my shit and make a lot of money. It's nice to have a lot of money in this day and age, you know? Gold plates ain't worth what they used to be. It's true, but you know, whatever. I got a dinosaur. Honestly, if I had a dinosaur fossil like this, like this is in good shape. This is a pretty complete fossil. I would not sell it, but you know what? Fuck it. Fuck it. It's a video game. I need the money. Anyway. Hmm. I should probably just store the stuff for gambling because I might use it later. I have a burger combo in storage. That's gonna go bad, man. <laughs> Tim and man got bamboozled. Are we drinking, by the way? I have alcohol in the fridge. Should I drink? I'm a drink. I'll be happy. Right I'm drinking. Yo, Daniel, I'll drink with you. I ain't drinking. Sid's not drinking. She's just sassy. I'm just real sassy. <laughs> I'm sorry. No, I'm not. Fuck you all. <laughs> oh, shit. Severn, hello. Severn, hello. Thank you for the host. Goddamn son of a bitch. I love you. I fucking love this man right here. I do love this man. I would... I just... I would not have his babies, but... Wow, like, Sid. Wow. All right. Fine. I... I... I would... To be fair, Sid wouldn't have anybody's babies. Yeah, though. she no. wouldn't even have my babies. No, that's what I'm saying. Is like I wouldn't have his babies in reality, but like I would have his like theoretical babies. Yeah, virtual babies. Yeah. Are you sure you're not drunk? <laughs> you haven't been drinking. <laughs> I've not been drinking. All right, just me then. All right. All right, here we go. We found this guy like right off the bat. Broke his fucking contacts again. How many contacts do you have, sketchy man? Oh no. Literally in the same spot. You ain't slick. Huh? Those are my contact lenses you just stepped on. Were they? Those were imported from France this time. Ooh la la. Oomph Baba Durkle. Just fucking upgraded. Midi. Oh huh? shit. Wait a second, your that <laughs> smile, that face, though. that fucking smile. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god, I love cutie. <laughs> oh, did you drop your contacts again? You really should be more careful with such expensive eyewear. Besides, I thought you said they were from Germany. <laughs> oh shit, cutie is amazing. I love this man. He's so beautiful. The truth cometh out. The truth come out. That was Bruno Mars' game. Yes. 
Oh shit, look at this guy with his baton. He thinks he's slick. Now you're gonna be the one kissing the pavement, asshole. All right, if you say so. Get your underbite ass. Hello, people possibly from Severn Stream. Have you ever been here before and played Yakuza? This game is great. You should play it. This game needs more love. This franchise needs more love. It does. It's a very good franchise. Also, I apologize. I'm real sassy tonight. I think, yo, Sketchy, can you tell us if you are actually in the Yakuza in any of the games or not? Because every single game that we've played Zero and we've played this one, and it seems like we're displaced from the Yakuza in one way or another. So they're the Yakuza games, but we're not really in the Yakuza. <laughs> We get well, that, kicked out a lot. That's and in Japan they're Ooh. called like a dragon, so That's true. They're not even called Yakuza, actually. Does Bruno Mars is gay is much discussed in the media <laughs> and among people such as his fans. I love that you know that. Thank you, Severin. <laughs> How's your vision doing, asshole? 2020 now, sir. Must have been your delicate touch. Here, take this as my thanks. You see that guys? I cured his vision. I'm like Jesus, but like with my fists. Sorry about everything. Don't turn water to wine. But you turn liars into truth tellers, and honestly, that's more impressive. I don't know, man. Being able to turn water into wine would be really cool. You're, You're not, not ever Yakuza? That's amazing! And also, like, look at Kiryu. Like, he, ever, he looks like such the typical Yakuza to the point where you can dress him in whatever you want. Everyone on the streets is like, damn, son, you look like straight Yakuza. And, like, you are connected in the Yakuza. Like, you technically were in the Yakuza. He's like, but guys, I'm not. I swear, I'm not. But all you do is help people. You are the nicest crime guy of all time. Oh shit, Ni Nishida. Hello, are you there, Kiryu-san? Nishida from the Majima family, right? What's wrong? Please, hurry. We need you at this place, Avenue. If you don't come, the boss will be in deep trouble. I don't feel like Senryo, whatever that Sen was Senryo. Wait, boss, boss, no! Hey, what's going on? What happened to Majima-san? Not that I care or anything. Baka. <laughs> Sounds like Majima-san actually needs help. Apparently he's on Sunrio Avenue. I better make sure I'm ready before I head over. I'm ready. I will also know where that is, because that's where the girl was selling her underwear in Yakuza Zero. <laughs> I'm going to make a sandwich because people in my stream talked about sandwiches and I'm eating them. <laughs> Same, though. I had a sandwich for dinner. In it was fact, a peanut butter sandwich. I could go for a sandwich, too, right now. Wait, I've never seen the green marker before. Is that supposed to be for fucking... Majima quests? Is that supposed to be for fucking? Yes. Yes. Why, yes it is. These arrows were made for fucking. And that's just what they'll do. One of these days, uh, you'll get fucked. <laughs> no. Oh shit, it's a wannabe yakuza. Sandwiches are my favorite genre of food. Soup is mine! Uh, I'm with Daniel on this one. I'm all about the pizza. Hey, you! Cool. What is it? We want. You're the, the one known as the Dragon Dojima, right? See, I got the street cred. Everybody knows who I am, and I'm not even in the, a fucking family right now. That was a long time ago. If that's all you want, I'm going. <laughs> eh. Even if you got nothing to say to me, I got business with you. Prepare yourself, Dragon Dojima. Man, button your shirt. Only I can rock that look. <laughs> Wait. Oh shit. Oh man, I was pizza? hoping. Would you like pizza? I would like pizza. Wow, he didn't. He was like a one hit. You know where I can get pizza? <laughs> I knew it. You're even stronger than the rumors say. The legend pales in comparison to the man. Suddenly, I'm Joey Wheeler. <laughs> yeah. So, who the hell are you? Name's Kano. It's actually Joey Wheeler. My dream is to make a name for myself in the underworld. So I've come to this town to prove myself. And I have a favor to ask you, sir. Many. Um, a favor? Please, play a children's card game with me. 
Make me your minion. I, I want you to teach me the ways of the Yakuza. Boy, I'm not in the Yakuza right now. There's no one in organized crime I'd rather learn from. I'm begging you. Please, I'll introduce you to my dark magician girl. Oh shit, he's got a dark magician girl. <laughs> Dude, this guy wants me to teach him how to crime. Let's take him to the pocket circuit stadium. <laughs> this guy attacks me out of the blue and then starts with this nonsense? Should I let him be my minion? I hate that word, no. That word is disgusting uh, and has disgusting things attached to it. I mean, I'm kind of busy right now, but okay. I'll, uh, whatever that means, I guess. Yay! You're so generous to take me under your wing, boss. In my first mission as your minion, I'm going to scout out some prey we can shake down for income. <laughs> I bet the champion district will be a good place to start. Yeah, go go ahead. Okay then. I'll see you later, boss. You do you do you, you know? You, you know, make me proud. That outcry was very Yakuza like. <laughs> Golly swell, gee, I love doing crimes. <laughs> He's cute. Just, you know, follow your stupid dreams, kid. Uh, what kind of stun is he planning to pull? I guess I'll head towards the champion district later. He'll be okay. He's pretty much harmless. He'll be all right on his own for a little while. I mean, he might get his ass kicked, but, you know. Uh, let me make sure. That's I what do... you get for challenging random people on the street to card games. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'm good, actually. Wait. I can, like, upgrade my fucking abilities like crazy. Holy shit, don't forget you got the 50s. That's right. Um, shit, but which one was I doing? Was it... Oh, fuck. Doing everything. Do it all. I think it was the weaving one, though. Take it all. Rally from a damaged state by weaving. Go for gold. I think. And then the other one, I'm going to put it into uh, beast mode abilities because I use it the most. Uh, charging an enemy guarding with a weapon to knock that weapon away. This has no effect on... Oh, meh. A bear hug attack? Aw. And that pretty much did it for now. And then uh, the next time I upgrade stuff, it'll be in other categories. Isn't this the place that Nishida mentioned? Wait, is that Majima-san? He looks ill. Oh, did you become one of the uh, Zombos from the last game? Is this a reference to that spin-off game where Majima and there are zombies and stuff that didn't get localized so we never got it? I think it is. <laughs> oh, God. You know? What the hell? Ah! I I wouldn't not sleep with him looking mm -hmm. like that. I'm Damn not it! Gonna lie. Fucking let go! Oh, it did get localized. I thought it didn't. Never mind. I thought I thought that was a reference that would that was supposed to go over our heads completely or something. I didn't realize that it was localized. We should play it sometime. Isn't it not good? It's, I don't know. People keep, I don't know anything about it other than zombies, but people keep talking about it like it, it was weird and, or well, maybe that's just out of context because we didn't get a whole lot of the Yakuza games over here anyway. I'm just saying we didn't get a whole, I thought we got all of the numbered series, just not the two spinoff series. Mm. Or maybe it was not necessarily because we didn't. We definitely didn't get the samurai one, and right. then the other ones I feel like weren't as super popular. Maybe I don't know. It it wasn't. It's to me, it slipped under the radar. 
Resident Evil and Blue Stinger. Oh shit. Never. Don't listen to me, man. What the hell is going on anyway? I don't fucking know. Also, should we play the Dead Souls thing? Yes or no? I would say no. Zombies aren't normally my thing. Yeah. Zombies are being ruined. But I, I am about... I mean, they, it can be done well. And I it am about be. crazy Majima karaoke. Well, I would be in it for that. I would I be in it... I want to play the samurai one. I've been watching subtitled playthroughs of it on YouTube, and it looks good. Sir, are you okay? Nishida, what the hell's happening? What happened to Majima-san? The boss has... turned. He's a zombie now. Didn't we do this in, in Zero with uh, Michael Jackson? That's what I'm saying. It's thriller time. I mean, a zombie. What do you mean? Hilariously atrocious. Okay, I'm in. You say it's dirt cheap and it's hilariously atrocious? Are we talking like I'm deadly in. premonition hilarious? or like? I, well, the, the controls are hilariously atrocious. I'm into that. Oh. Why not? I mean, well, Deadly Premonition had hilariously atrocious controls, too. I, As a fan of, of Twin Peaks, I love Deadly Premonition. I'm just going to put that out there. So many people hate that game. I love it. We should play it on stream. We, we started it once. Yeah, we've played it before during the 12 Days of Magfest, I think. But we didn't play the whole thing. We did not. But I, I would play it. I would play through it definitely. If I haven't anybody seen, cared. I haven't seen it. You haven't? Oh. Jesus. Mm -hmm. Not all the way through. God damn it, I love that game. Anyway, the, the action bits are bad, but they were added in as an afterthought. Yeah. Uh, Swery never wanted... It was supposed to just be a Twin Peaks thing. Like, he didn't want it to be an action game, but, like, it was, like, a weird internal thing where they were, like, you gotta put in action segments, and it was, like, an afterthought entirely. I don't know the politics in it, but, like, it wasn't an original part of the game and it was added in later and you can tell but i still love it it's still a great game and it's still very twin peaks uh, oh shit zombie majima is more powerful than ever if he bites you you'll turn too it's too late for me nishida no <laughs> nani tell me how this happened if you want to survive run the majima family is infected we're all over kamurocho do i have to fight all of you Ugh, zombie! Ah, oh, help me! Are you guys hurting people over there? I swear to God, if you guys are committing crimes, as a crime guy, it's my duty to stop you. <laughs> I'm seriously considering it sketchy. Beep, beep, beep. Okay. Majima-san became a zombie? What the fuck? Okay, well, they say in order to stop zombies, you have to cut off the head? Is that how it goes? Destroy, uh, destroy the on, brain? Depends on what part of the lore. Hmm. Which lore you're, you're, you're going for. Are you going for, like, Resident Evil zombie? Going for, like, Night of the Walking Dead zombie? Are you going for, like, 28 Days Later zombie? Majima, if you don't cut this shit out, I'm just gonna start chopping off limbs and, and body parts and see what what works and Walking what doesn't dead work. dead zombie? <laughs> Again, I just want to reiterate, I wouldn't not fuck him like this. <laughs> Give me a little taste. He's just... He's just wearing color contacts. I, I like the blood makeup, too. I'm just saying. My words don't... It does it for me. The thing that kills me is Kitty was gullible enough to believe all of, of this. Of course. My, my words don't seem to reach him anymore. At this point, it would be a mercy to stop him. I have to before he puts the whole city in danger. It's my duty as a crime guy. I dig the blood makeup and the red contact. Guys, I'm fucking... I can't. <laughs> I can't. Wait, what is this? Oh. An iron pipe. Cool. <laughs> Hi, Hulk busted. Hey, P-mate. I don't know. Majima's just fucking with us. Because he loves us. And he's eccentric and just likes to keep things interesting. He does like to keep things interesting. He didn't know that he knew how to zombie. 
Kitty, you didn't either until just now. Exactly. Oh shit, I'm gonna have to watch the VOD later because I, I can hear music but I can't totally make it out. Oh shit, I'm fighting everybody. Oh jeez, this is freaking thriller. This is thriller! Where am I kazoo at? I'm gonna grab this bottle. I'm gonna fight zombies with this. Oh shit, actually, never fucking mind. Hang on, beast mode. There's a there's a bike here, I'm gonna grab it. Beep beep! Well, he is dead. Oh, whoops. That didn't work out the way I wanted it to. Alright, how many zombies you got? Bring them on. Bring them all on. I don't care. I'll kill hella zombies right now. Hell yeah. To be fair, Kitty, you, you're real bad at killing zombies. Damn it, I'm gonna kick this guy, but it, Oh, never mind. I thought he still had health, but he doesn't. Um, hello? Are the developers impatient for how many? I don't like zombies. I like zombies when they're done well. Yeah, it doesn't happen a lot, unfortunately. It's a very tired trope. Yeah. So you have- it's- it's something that's very challenging to take. I mean, I know- a concept and make refreshing. Like, uh... I know I was just, uh, criticizing the gameplay of the one I was playing, the first one. But Resident Evil actually had a cool, like, original idea when it came to zombies, especially, you know, back in the day. Oh, shit! That was awesome. Virus... Virus zombie was... Yeah, at the a, time. It yeah, was a it was, new concept. Yeah. It was a cool idea. Now it's like... Oh, God, virus. Ow, rude, Majima! Even as a zombie, you got no res You got no respect. I just kicked you in the dick. How you like that? Good timing. I actually need to heal. Oh, Evil Within 2 is coming up. I didn't play the first one. It won't run well on this PC. We might need to fiddle with the settings more, but like, we tried really hard to boot it yeah. up on here and stream it, and it just was not happening. We don't have a terrible PC either. It's just, I don't know, man. Probably just something with the settings. You know, it's to say, Owl Last 2 is working fine. I mean, I know Evil Within probably. Is. I don't know, honestly. Oh, I wish I hadn't thrown away the bottle then. Oh, wait! Oh, wait, salt. that's salt. Never mind. Salt your enemies! Well, you know, this might actually be good to work against zombos. Maybe they like slugs. Oh man, I, I fucking dropped my salt. You put salt on them, they just start melting. I got a kettle, that's okay. <laughs> I didn't realize how we're on the street. How was there fucking boiling water in it still? I'm not gonna, whatever. That was amazing. <laughs> oh, I love this game. Holy shit, dude. I also can't wait for Halloween. I love me some spooks. I love me- Except for when I'm playing them. Don't ask me to play a scary game. I'll watch scary games all day. I ain't gonna play shit. Well, see, here's my thing. I say I'm ready for Halloween. That's not true. I'm ready for the month of October to never end. To just always be here. Yes. Because once it's Halloween, then, you know, it's over. The fun is over. And people stop thinking about spooky things. But then, like, if it were all the time, wouldn't people forget about spooky things anyway? No! <laughs> well, you wouldn't, but wouldn't most people? Never! 
There's so much spook to be had, and so many different types of spook. Oh man, that's a thing on that, that G-Club podcast that, that uh, Susan particularly hits on. It is like, not only are modern day horror <coughs> films getting, not all of them, but a huge majority of them are low budget cash cows mm -hmm. uh, that rely on, on things like jump scares and whatever. And they all come out around this time. And it's like, you're kind of limiting yourself, you know? Like, you could come out with a thriller or a horror film any time of the year. Oh, the yeah. fact that you limit it to one month, especially because it's so oversaturated in this, this very short time span. Like, I get that it's Halloween and whatever, but like, couldn't you potentially release a horror film any time of the year? Yeah, no. And then it would be refreshing, because it, it, I don't know. Movie, oh shit, movie goers to be like, I don't know, it's fucking May and I want to go to the movie theater and see something, but everything's all boring and comedy or animated and I don't know what I want. I don't know. She, she just made a lot of really good points about how horror as a genre, especially in like like big Hollywood films or whatever, not independents, are really kind of like boxing themselves in. Well, everything nowadays is like... And not... A, I mean, like, there are I, I'm good I'm overgeneralizing. Yeah. I'm overgeneralizing, obviously, but most, like, what I consider to be blockbuster horror films. Most blockbuster horror films are the fucking found footage... Yeah, found jump, footage is in right now. Found footage fucking paranormal activity you have to thank for that yeah um and jump scares like you said found footage and jump scares but i'm like there's so many different genres of horror i mean like you've got you've got your slasher serial killer fucking creature features do you know how long it's been since like there was a legitimately like good spooky creature feature i think the thing is people are kind of afraid because like in the 80s slasher was the thing that was so overdone and like filmmakers are afraid to go back to that because it's i don't know if it's been enough time or something the filmmakers in general are playing it really safe right now and like i'm not a filmmaker I spent a lot of time in theater, and I spent a lot of time, like, being on the outside of, like, being on the sidelines of film production, I guess, enough to see things, but, like, I haven't actually been in the thick of it, so I can't necessarily speak with it, but I'm just saying, like, it just seems like, in general, they're playing it really safe right now, with all of these, these remakes and stuff. Like, there's, there, there's so much room for things to make, like, new original shit. And by new original shit, I, like, let me specify, because there's some people who think that certain things are original ideas, and it's like, no, it's just tired ideas with a uh, modern twist. Like, the fucking haunted social media pages. I fucking... What? I can't. I can't with the fucking... Oh, shit. Haunted social media pages. Oh shit, you know what, Sketchy? I just read up a little bit of the snakeskin jacket. I have one. It's not gold like Majima's, it's silver, but I have one. It's way too small for me. It's like a child's jacket. It's somewhere in here. But yeah. I don't know, man. It's... Wait, hold on. Hold that thought. Hold on. Mush mush. You did it, sir! You took down all the zombies! Where's Michael Jackson? I'm just glad I avoided being t turned into a zombie myself. Wait, you're okay? I thought you got bitten and became a zombie. Huh? Well, about that. None of us are actually zombies and we were all lying to you. Bam Sorry! <laughs> Bamboozled again! <laughs> Everything went just as planned, kitty chan. Practically invincible in zombie form. How many times am I gonna have to bury you? Mm. Wait, what do you mean just as planned? Maji, what are you doing? Can zombies even do whatever the hell this dance you're doing is? 
Yeah, right. I ain't a damn zombie. I'm alive and well. Have you been hanging out with Miss with Walking Erection, Mr. Uh. Libido? Oh, and it is surprise you, Cutie Chan. So this time I got the whole bunch of my family in on the act. God damn it! <laughs> that face. Wait, what? <laughs> We're having a brainstorming session about how to get you know, to take a fight seriously, and then we had this zombie flick in the, on in the background, and it hit me. Wait a minute. Back up. Which zombie flick? Hold it's the phone. Important. Hold the phone and then give the phone to me. You guys have brainstorming sessions on how to get us to fight you with your whole family. They ain't got nothing else to do. You just sit them down and have, like, meetings. Like, all right, guys, look. Uh, our, our averages on fights have gone down this month. We need to we need to figure out uh, how to increase. Uh, I'm, I've been looking at, at our revenue, and, and and it's just it's not looking good. And we we need to we need to come up with some fresh ideas. We're in the red, guys. Dude, I, I love Mr. Libido. I'm sa I wonder what he's up to nowadays. Yes. I knew he fucking, he's, he has like, Michael, M Miracle Johnson, I'm sorry, not Michael Jackson, Miracle Johnson. Michael Jackson. M quote unquote Miracle Johnson. He has him on speed dial or some shit. Doesn't Majima family have like 2,000 members? I don't know, actually. Does it? How many members are in the Majima family? This is important. We need to know this. Majima, how many sons have you spawned? So this was all just an elaborate plan of yours. I can't believe how much of my time you just wasted. Oh my god, he looks so mad. <laughs> no way, man. You got any idea how much the stunt cost? Shit, I practically went through a whole B-movie budget. So like $500? <laughs> Hell, I did have cameras rolling. Maybe I can cut it up and make a real B-movie out of it. You didn't get my consent for that. Or maybe I can start a professional flash mob. The Flash Majima! <laughs> now I'm dreaming big, kitty chan. Oh my god. That's amazing. Hi, Overhead. What's up? Huh? I'm still waiting to wake up from this nightmare. Oh well, I lost the fight, but I'm glad I got to see kitty chan take himself so seriously. He literally gets off on this. I do. <laughs> Is that so? Anyway, I gotta come up with more fun stuff for ya. Hope you're looking forward to the next time, Kitty Chan. <sighs> I am, though. Good I, am. I can't believe he went this far. What the fuck am I talking about? Of course I can believe he went this far! Nice. Ooh, Dragon's Heat Gauge. Ooh. Sick. Sick! Wait, what the. Hold on. Where am I? Why is this here? Oh, that's right. My my minion is hanging out over here. I love Majima. I'm sad we can't play as him in in this game. I kind of miss playing as him in Zero, mm -hmm. which we need to get, we do need to go back to and revisit a little bit. Cause Dato. Yeah, we have one. We need to date. Um, what's her name from Club Moon? I want I want that fucking. Cause all the girls you dated at the cabaret club had like stories and shit. I want that. That's what I want. Fuck, where's the main plot? What were we doing? Oh, we were going to our tattoo artist. Like, the guy who did our tattoo, which is pretty fucking cool. I want to go on a date with Yui. You can also go on a date with Yui. And also, also, I have a bunch of fucking uh, locker keys. And we need to go... Hold the phone! Hold the fuck up! We need to go to the fucking... Uh, no, I don't want to hang out with Kano. Oh. Damn it. Hey, what? He wasn't as wacky in Yakuza 0. He had very specific reasons why he couldn't be. I found a golden opportunity for some steady dough. You'll be waiting, wait, wanting in on it, of course, right? I would be, but I have children's cars to go race. I have to go race toy cars. Yeah. I, I, don't, I don't want no part of this shit, do we? Yeah. Eh? Wait a minute, boss. You gotta be a little enticed. It's a one in a million opportunity. 
And I'll even keep an eye out so no swoops in on our turf. No one swoops in on our turf. But I... Okay, well, you can do that later, though. Later we'll do that. Right now, though, I have things to do. Uh, shit. This isn't where I wanted to go anyway. Excuse me, excuse me, sorry. Don't, no, don't, don't chase me. Don't. Everybody wants to fucking fight me. Get the hell out of here. They want to suck your dick. I've got shit to do, man. I'm a busy guy. Yep. I'm a busy crime guy. Yep. Busy doing crimes. <laughs> Yakuza. We're going to play it. Yakuza Dead Souls. Ooh, thank you. I want to play. Ooh. Okay, cool. 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 I want to play all of the Yakuza games. Uh, of them. same. That have been localized. I mean, piss, have... piss mountain stone. I just picked up a piss mountain stone. What does that mean? What does that even mean? Uh, you know, in Ireland, they have that rock that everybody pees on, right? Oh, is that like their version of Shaq Fu? <laughs> Sorry. I forget what it's called. I went and- Shaq Fu. I... No. <laughs> The fucking rock in Ireland. Oh. I went to it. I'm sorry. Never mind. What does the fucking what does the stone do? Hello? But technically you're supposed to kiss it. But a lot of people pee on it, so you probably really wouldn't want to kiss it. But the A stone from a mountain rumored on the internet to exist somewhere. I think it's talking about that. Using it increases your chances of your opponent Okay, cool. It's a uh thing for gambling. They give you a lot of items for that. Blarney Stone! Thank you! I went to that. You're supposed to kiss it because it's like good luck, but a lot of people just pee on it. Fun MAGFest trivia. It used to be MAGFest tradition to put Shaq Fu in the men's urinals so that people could pee on it. I even got a copy of it so that I could put it in the MAGFest urinals, but the year that I got it, they moved to the Gaylord National, and the Gaylord National staff had to actually come out and say, you are not allowed to put Shaq Fu in the urinals, specifically. <laughs> That's sad. Or I think they said, like, you can't put games in the urinals for people to pee on, or something like that. I don't know. They basically were like, no, you can't. Um, but yeah, anyway. I guess... Oh, he was- he had to hide his wacky side in Yakuza Zero. Uh, he- he was trying to, uh, get back into the Yakuza or something, and, uh, so he was running a cabaret, uh, called the Grand in Sultanbori, and he was basically trapped there and forced to run the Grand and make money. He was supposed to be good so that he could get back in, like, with the lieutenants- in the lieutenant's good graces or whatever. So I don't know. He could get back in the Yakuza, so he wasn't allowed to, like, start fights and fuck with people. I saw it a little differently, and I might be wrong, but I think that Majima didn't quite have his personality yet in the, Zero. That, it too. It was both. Yeah. Because, like, he didn't quite know who he was as a person, because at first he just idolized his brother, or his, you know, Yakuza brother. Right. And then... He did have, he was under certain restriction though, where he yeah. wasn't allowed to, cause like they made a point of that being like, ooh, I can tell that you're crazy and a wild one, but yeah. like you can't, cause yeah. you gotta be a businessman. But then he was tortured for a year and then thrown into having to be a businessman. So he couldn't really find who he was. But at the end of Yakuza Zero, he was like, the people who have influenced me the most are the people who just didn't give a fuck and yeah. did what they wanted. Yeah. And I'm going to do that now. Yeah. Whatever I want to do at any moment, whatever hits me, I'm going to do it. Yep. So then he became fucking crazy. Yep. Basically. It will be cars. We're I promised it we're going to date Yui-san first. We're going to date Yui-san, and then we're going to go race cars. Because we got to show that yes. fuck uh, ta ta Takuma? What's his name? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, Takuma. We got to show I him how, how to step up and be the next 
uh, fighter. pocket circuit fighter. We have to show him the heart of the cars. You know what I mean? Yep. And then we'll advance the plot a little, and then we'll switch games. Date Yui in front of Rina because fuck her. Right? Right? Yeah, he's he's basically reveling in his freedom as, as well. And, like, it's also a part of him living on and living his life and mm -hmm. honoring the people from that, he, that like, influenced him during Yakuza 0. Because he straight up says it at the end of Yakuza 0. He's, like, fucking Nish... It was Lee. It was Lee and Nish... Uh, Nishtani. Nishtani. Like, he, he, he idolized Lee and Nishtani in, he was his, like, own, in his own way. He was like, these motherfuckers were super cool, and I respect that they were always balls to the walls, always 100% in yeah. whatever they were doing. I miss Nishtani. He was such a badass. Oh, shit. That's right. Datos. Aw, oh, she doesn't like my new shirt. I guess it suits you. What would you like to drink? Oh. We just got paid. Get that champagne. It doesn't gross her out as much as the other outfit did, though. The other outfit would drain the bar completely. So, well, there you go. Let's get the 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 the, black, uh, the rose champagne. Nay. Rose. Rose. That makes me happy. Damn straight. Clink. <laughs> Let's enjoy the evening. She do got that cute uh, little Chinese dress going on. I love it. What's wrong? Hmm. <laughs> Some girls would call that a luxury, but I guess the grass is always greener. Just be firm and tell them to stop. Well, now you just sound like a tsundere. Hmm. The wording is all wrong. We'll try it. It's all in the wording. Men can be pretty thick. They only hear what they want to hear sometimes. Because we're stupid. That's just how it is. Love and hate are two sides of the same coin. Because we are always thinking with our head and not the one between our shoulders. Yeah. If they know you feel strongly about them, they think that deep down they still have a chance. She got some big hands. Isn't it the thing where, like, all the characters have big hands? Because, like, Kiryu has big hands and they didn't want it to be, like, super awkward big difference. And Kiryu has to have big hands because of, like, the combat or something like that. Some I think Sketchy told us at one point. Forgive Rena, please. We will. Oh, it's just gonna take some time. I mean, we're gonna finish our dates with her, but I don't know that I'll forgive her. I might, if she learns and becomes better. I doubt she has the depth to become better. But I don't... P characters have this thing called arcs, Sid, where they grow. Sometimes. Not sometimes. all the time, but sometimes. I'm just saying I don't have high hopes for her. I mean, if she does it, prove me wrong. I'm saying she can prove me wrong. All right. Well, that's why we're gonna date her. She can absolutely prove me wrong. But I'm just saying I don't have high hopes. We'll see. I have a lot of disappointment and resentment. I'm disappointed. I'm disappointed too, but we'll see. We were digging her until then. We'll see if, if maybe she changes her act a little bit. This bitch right here, though, she, she's, she's, she's got her own other problems. Yeah, we're she, dating Yui right now. We don't need to be talking about Rina. You gotta, you gotta act like you don't care at all. Nothing worse. Don't, don't pretend that you like or dislike him. Just be totally not interested. I just hope you don't get into too much trouble. But on the other hand, that's pretty normal, isn't it? Maybe they're just trying to flatter you, or maybe they're serious, but what's the problem with them saying it? I'm not. 
お客さん相手に好きなんて絶対言えないうん This one's kind of tough. Yeah, she does have a pure heart. I'll give her that. She doesn't want to say I like you to a customer because she's like, I could never fall for a customer, so I ain't gonna lead you on. Yeah. But you do also have to be professional. Yeah, I mean, you are a hostess, girl. Like, this is your job. That and, like, saying I like you is totally different than being like, hey, girl, I like your tatas. I just want to rub my face in it. Like, you know what I mean? This like, is also Japan, though. Yeah, I guess. That, it might also be like a, a, a wording thing, too. Yeah. Well, it's I different for us, I think, to be like, oh, I like you. I like you. You're cute. Whatever. Mm -hmm. And then being like, you know. Well, for them, the, like, it, it's, as far as I'm aware, like, the most popular way to say, you know, I love you, quote unquote, the way we use it in America, mm -hmm. I love you, um, is... Ski dayo. Yeah, ski dayo. Ski dayo or dai ski or something like that. Which technically doesn't even mean love you. It means I like you a lot. Or, or yeah, ski or dai ski is I like you a lot. Yeah. Their word for I love you is aishiteru, which they almost no one. never say. Yeah, never. That is like a super, super rare, almost never say it kind of a thing. Like a I would die for you. Yeah. Like that's, a, that's some heavy True shit. True love. Like... I love you, Sid. Yeah, no, fucking Ice Deru, Kimmy. Ice Deru. <laughs> you, you dumb baka. <laughs> but, like, you don't uh, use that. So, I didn't hear what she said because I wasn't paying attention. So, I didn't hear if she was like, skida or whatever. I think that's what she meant. But even then, it still carries a heavier meaning in Japan than it does here. We just fling out, I like, for everything. Yeah, or I love you. That's why I was saying, like, the equivalent to I love you in America is I like you in Japan. Yeah. So that's, I guess, the difference there. Mm -hmm. What do you think? Should I just tell her that she's got a nice heart or something? I don't know. Um, I would say... Or be a professional. I would either say be a professional or how about I love you to kid with her. Like, I feel like how about I love you would be, like, a joke. <clears throat> Or you have to be professional because at least you're being real with her. Hmm. Because now we're starting to get into, this is what, our third date with her? Yeah, we're getting into the nitty gritty. We're getting to, we need to be able to start reading her better. I don't know. Um. I could push both buttons at the same time. That's never led me wrong before. It has, but, you know, life's about taking chances, you know? <laughs> boy, boy. Oh, okay. You have to be professional. I don't know how you're going to survive in the service industry if you can't pretend to like a customer, no matter how bad he is. Yeah, no, girl, sounds like you're not fit for this job at all. Yeah. Sorry. Maybe. But that's no reason to quit. You could just keep doing what you've done so far. That got me nothing, but at least it didn't get me any bad points. Yeah, well, you got hearts with the first one. <gasps> I could take her out after hours. Not right now, though. Uh, we keep forgetting to grab presents for her. I don't know if she wants any. I think we'll be the exception once she likes us more. Possibly. Puppies! Aww. Uh, toy poo? Oh, a toy poodle. Those make me sad. Are you planning on getting a dog? I'm mean, I feel bad about him existing, but he does exist and he, he needs love and care and stuff. People should stop that, though. Yeah, feeding, house training. There's a lot to do. What do we think? The sooner you get him, the better. <laughs> if you're lonely, take me instead. If you have doubts, then don't do it. 
If you have doubts, then don't do it seems too final. Yeah, that and I'm like, how am I gonna tell you not to get a doggo companion? Yeah, it's way too final. Like, you can't tell somebody not to do something just because they have doubts. Having doubts is a good thing. It means you're questioning your actions. It means you're thinking. And it's like, yeah, you gotta pay a lot to take care of it. You gotta work hard at house training it, but like... The, 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 the reward is that you have a companion who loves you. Don't you want that doggo? You can get so many pets. You can pet that doggo so many times, as many times as you want. And they'll give you all of the kisses. I'm gonna do it. If you're gonna get one, the sooner the better. If you take too long, someone else might adopt him first. Oh, a great day. I'm sure there are lots of factors to consider, but worrying about them won't solve anything. Try taking action first. Yeah! Get that doggo! If you want something, you can make it work, girl. <laughs> yeah! I hope your sister's on board. Cause doggo. Also, I love Great Danes. They're so fucking cute. We're gonna talk more. Uh oh. That's not good. Welcome to the internet. Yeah, don't don't do that to yourself, girl. I mean, it was fairly, it was still fairly new, I guess, in 2005. 2005. Yeah, that's true. So, but like, word of advice from the future: don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. <laughs> People hate for all kinds of reasons. Not that you shouldn't take criticism, but like... There's a difference between criticism and hating. A forum? You also don't know the circumstances in which people are writing shit. I see? <laughs> he doesn't seem like he sees. That's right. I wrote it I don't know, but you're getting closer to me, so I will listen. <laughs> Girl, you can't. Don't do this to yourself. She doesn't know no better. It's 2005. I don't know. It was bad, right? How could I even guess? I don't know anything bad about you. You're cute. I like you. None of these answers are good. Just try and guess. Uh... I wouldn't say you're not cute. If I pick the wrong one, she's gonna think I subconsciously think this about her. I would just... What I do mean, you guys... Help, guys, help! I, I would just say triangle, because uh. that's a very generic, like, um, they probably called you a bitch. <laughs> mm. The you're not funny and you're not cute are too, like, specific. <laughs> uh, that's true. Kitty's like, what's the internet? <laughs> Somebody just calling you a bitch, they're just calling you a bitch. You're just a bitch. Oh man. Uh, I don't know. Go for the least stinging one, they all sting. Well, no, to me it would be you're not cute because I don't give a shit about being cute. <laughs> but she cares, I think. Uh, welcome back, Violet. Uh, fuck, dude. Alright. Here's what's gonna- I'm gonna- I'm gonna hit circle and triangle at the same time. Maybe I should help three of them at the same time. Wait. <gasps> Shit. Is that you're not funny? No! I don't think that at all! That's not how I feel! I just thought some people might say that, that's all. No, it's not like that! Did I guess right? Hmm. Mm. Girl, go to Oska. Mm. I'll teach you how to be funny. Maybe some people expect to be entertained when they come to a cabaret club. A girl with a sense of humor makes things more fun than someone who's boring. 
Oh, look at her using internet lingo. Look at you. Yeah. Oi, oi. I'm not sure if being a funny girl is any more of a compliment, though. I mean, I like a funny girl. I know, it would kill me. If somebody said I wasn't funny. Yeah. Which is true, I'm not funny at all, but. Bitch, you're hilarious still, to me. Would still break my heart. <laughs> I wouldn't give a shit if somebody were like, oh, that bitch right there, she's not cute. She ain't even a little cute. Or she a bitch. I'd be like, yeah, no, I don't care. <laughs> Thank you for today. See you soon. She touched your face! Thanks for touching my face. See you later. She like you. She like you. I like her. Let's race some cars so that I feel, be feel better. And then we're gonna switch over some games. Also, do make sure you're probably gonna get a text from her being like, meet me up here. Probably. Meet Where's up with me, nearest... cutie, you son. It would be faster for me just to run down the street. Wee! <laughs> oh yeah, no, the cutie got no fucking, excuse me, I don't think so. Goodbye. They're a baka. <laughs> Idiot. No, don't stop me. Who are you? Look at this cock of the walk. Out of my damn way. Excuse me? Who the fuck are you? Oh, is the cock crowing? I'll teach you who I am. I don't want to fight you. Who I am. I am what I am. Did trolls exist in 2005? Yes. Yes, they did. I'm not, uh, proud to admit where I was at in the internet in 2005. Yep, nope, I'm not proud of it either. It, uh, rhymes with four yams. <laughs> yeah, you like that, huh? I did. <gasps> Yams are fucking delicious. I meant the term troll. Yes, yes, it did. they did. It did. It definitely did. Oh, Majima Ruda! Stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it. God damn it, I miss Slugger Mode. Damn it, Jesus Christ, Majima. Hello? Oh my goodness. Poppy! Hello, welcome back. Poppy! I need to heal. Um, right now. Excuse me. Excuse me! I just did, I, I, I suck at math, but I just did the math in my head to make certain. And yeah, the troll term, the term troll definitely existed. I was 13. I was definitely on 4chan. The troll definitely was a thing. Uh, same. Yep. Majima, can you, like, maybe chill? <gasps> Damn, Sicy, that's cold-blooded. <laughs> I still love you, though. Stop it, stop it with the things! Oh my Jesus fucking Christ. Alright. Never mind, we're gonna stay in... Not brawl, not rush, but brawler mode. Excuse me. I'll take this, thanks.
Damn it. I can't ever fucking... There we go. Motherfucker. Get the fuck up on out of here in my personal space. I'm like walking on sunshine on both sunshine and broken glass. God. Come on, bring it. Oh, god damn it. No, wait, bring it a little less. Damn it, Majima. Oh, jeez! Ow! Ow! He doesn't ever let me get grab me, man. I don't know why I keep trying. Cause it's because there's like the occasion that it does happen. Curly, why you be stuck in my head? I'd forgotten that song existed, and I'm gonna continue to forget that that song existed. So... Stop it! Stop looking at me! Stop standing there just looking at me, Majima! It's weird! It's creepy! Good! Hell yeah! Curb stomp. Nope. Excuse me. When did I get scotch whiskey? And where did I get it from? Mm. Well, okay. Not fair. Didn't realize that I couldn't fucking move right there. Didn't realize that bitches was blocking my way and shit. It's okay, Sicey. I believe in you. You can do the thing. It'll happen. There we go. There's something nice. Yep. Damn it! I'll be honest, I wish I didn't have to go to work tomorrow, but mostly just because I'm cramping and I want to I want to sleep. Let's see, that's a that's a good thing though, when the only reason you don't want to go to work is because you feel crappy. Not because you hate your job. <laughs> Jesus Christ, Majima. All I wanted to do was race cars, man. You son of a bitch. Why did I... Oh, that's right. We've done this before. We're just fighting people. He's yeah. just like, I'm just gonna jump in because I can. You son of a bitch. It's okay. I got some racing to do. Excuse me. Oh, he's not here. Excuse me, King. Did you go talk to Takuma-kun? Uh. Yeah, I spoke to him, but the rest is up to him. He's not going to accept without conquering his demons. Like a bitch. Uh. I see you. But Takuma-kun must have his reasons. I don't want to force this upon him. Don't be so dramatic, bitch. But I do hope we can help pull him out of his slump. I'm worried about the guy. Yeah. Just give him some time. He has a lot to think about. I told him to meet me here, but we'll see. It's been a while, actually. If you told him to come, I'll... I'm sure he'll come. Wow. Ah. Uh. Yeah, he's right. We'll wait as long as it takes. I've got nothing better to yeah. do, so we could just hang out here until he shows up, I guess. Why don't we race in the meantime? If we just enjoy ourselves while we're racing, maybe Takamakum will sense the fun and come on by. It's 
not like Takamakun has a fun sensor, but I do kind of want to see Fighter back in action. <laughs> That's great, because I've been itching to burn some rubber myself. Oh, fine. It's been a long time since I raised you for real. Uh, Tell me when you're ready, baby. I'll be looking forward to your new and improved car customizations. Uh. Hell yeah. Oh shit, it's 11 though. Fuck, I might have not have time to experiment and race. Because I want to play spoops too. Well, I don't want to play spoops. I want to watch Sid play spoops. Spooky. It's spooky. Hold on, I'm going to leave that on a cliffhanger. Cause there is a, a save phone. Fighter needs to burn a condom first. You know what I'm saying. It's a different kind of rubber. Hey. Hey. No, I'm sorry. It's I. I get carried away with Yakuza, and we've been, we've been playing it for over two hours. We're gonna get spooky. I want to get spooky. Yeah, a dick, a dick, a dick hanger. No, a cliffhanger. What? Don't worry, though. Uh, I 100% plan on playing this tomorrow. Is it dick butt? I'm sorry? Is it up? Is it, I'm sorry? Excuse me? Is it up dog? What is, uh, what is up dog? <laughs> I fucking hate you. You love me. I I do. I love you a little bit. All right, uh hang on. <laughs>